So what about liability issues? How does that work? Well, like let's say someone's watching your video who doesn't have a license and they go ahead and they start practicing. I have a subscription service. Uh, it's 125 hours of video instructional content that I sell worldwide for $7. I cannot be held legally liable for what people do with the information I give them. Oh, I don't video. show how to set up the suspension system. Okay. I'm literally hiding it. And eventually it will come out. And when it does, I will have to go to YouTube and make videos and teach people how to use it for free because the, the cat is already out of the bag. But it's going to cause problems. People are going to set it up. People are going to get hurt. Here's the thing. Those bands move. Did you see I was doing a back bend over it and like leaning in with my feet? It's basically like a yoga prop. I can hook it under my arms and put pressure in your neck and press into the suspension system to take weight off. I can lean into it and work on my own rotator cuff and work on my serratus and traction my arm while I work on her. It is amazing work. If you're just standing on people and you don't know what you're doing, what if the suspension system rips out of the wall or whatever it's connected to? Mm -hmm. I've done webinars where I promoted, I, I gave people in a webinar like an hour, I would show them what I was doing in my practice. I gave them a full view, an infomercial. And when I got to the suspension system, everybody said, I want that suspension system now. Where can I buy that? And I'm like, people are going to die. Uh -huh. it's, it's dangerous. It's not that you can't use it safely, it's just that the compressions are so deep, you can hurt someone. And I'm very cautious about how to lead therapists into it. I've taken therapists in my intro tie class and I will show, I'll do a demo and show them the suspension system and say, listen, when, when are students ready to use this? And they're like, oh no, like somebody's gonna get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, LASIK yeah. is dangerous as well, right? What People is? People can go blind with LASIK yeah. surgery. So it's an important, so that, that means you have it already incorporated in your terms and service on your website? I have a lawyer, and here's what happens with the lawyer. I learned very quickly when a guy charges $250 an hour, I go in and say, listen, this is what I want to do. And he says, that's illegal, this is legal. And I go, okay, this is what I want to do. He's like, they're going to put you in prison for that, but you can do that. Does it make sense? I have him protect my liability issues in that regards. I've had people ask me to make like a prefabricated unit and start selling it because people were like, I want to buy that now. It's like giving somebody who doesn't know how to sword fight a lightsaber. Oh, I'm going to cut a car in half. Let me ask you this. How long did it take you to have, uh, I guess, that um, sense of movement? Because like you said, with those cuffs, you have to have uh, a control of yourself and, and the person that you're working with. How long did it take you to get Just that mobility, like how to use my body. How do you, you know, I think it probably took about two years just for me to learn how to move on a mat. And when I say two years, it wasn't like I was just doing mat-based practice. I had a table-based practice because I was working in spas. So I was kind of doing time massage on the side with like private clients. I think it took me two years to learn how to use my body. I think it took another three to really get a sense of, oh, that's how much pressure we can use. This is how I feel with my legs and feet. How long can I hold a compression? Because you have to be able to feel nuance under your knees, under your feet, and feel with the rest of your body. Most people in the West, they only feel from like here up. Make sense? Yeah. So, time massage, questions? Totally legit, totally legal, I have a lawyer. <laughs> His whole job is like, okay, Robert, we know you want to grow and innovate, and I just need to keep you out of prison. Like, we don't want to... <laughs> why, why do anyone want to put you in prison? If he hurts you, uh, because of human, I mean, based upon him. He does, but that doesn't mean somebody watching his videos. Well, let me ask oh. you this. Now that you're, uh, that you're teaching, you can teach this stuff, and you did, uh, you did say that... Uh, we as students can go and learn this without actually getting our license. Yeah. That, how how would you how would you recommend us to go about it if we actually want to learn? Because like you okay. said, when, when you start learning, you get your so license. Okay. And then at whatever point, because you can study with me right now, you can get on the subscription service or come take a class or whatever before you got a school. Like I'm I'm happy to do that just to get you started. You're just going to take classes with me over time and we're going to work on certification. And at some point I'm going to show you how to use the suspension and just show you how to set it up. 
But I, what I meant to say is, uh, how do you, as, as a therapist, how, how do you become comfortable with that? As, practice. With, with your practice. How do you, I guess that's what I mean. Because once you start uh, practicing doing massage on a regular person, it, it becomes like a second nature. Yes. But how, how do you start uh, at someone that you haven't actually started on a mat and then you say, you know what, let me, let me practice on you. Yep. How, do you, how, do you, how do you go about not hurting the person that's on a mat since it's, you just practice? No, no, when we start off, it's much, much different. The work that I did on you, that's a little bit more advanced. I don't normally start students with that. I start students with what? Palm press, finger press, here are the sun lines, little simple stretches, mobility. If I take mobility, just like I take your hip and move it around, it's very gentle, very safe. I can do that on old people, right? The compressions are where things get dangerous. You take a little old lady with osteoporosis and stand on her, what's going to happen? <laughs> and, and that's where I have to be just a little bit cautious about what I'm doing. Make sense? Yeah, I have an ethical, you know, dilemma because I'm trying to figure out how do I get people on board. But does that look like massage? I really feel like on some level, eventually that's going to disrupt a portion of the massage industry. I don't know how exactly. I don't know what form it's going to take. I'm trying to steer my uh, my tanker and hope I don't hit the cliffs. And yeah, there's a bunch of oil in the ocean or whatever, <laughs> flames, whatever goes along with that. <laughs> yeah, but the work is great. Um, it's even easier on my body. Once you get to the point where you're using suspension, you don't want to not have it. Mm -hmm. That is one thing that I notice. Once you have more tools, do you want me to take your tools away? No. That's how I felt about doing mat work, and that's also how I feel about suspension. I was working at a chiropractor's office when I first put that together, and I knew for a fact that I was going to be frustrated if I could not. Um, use that. And I was already doing Thai massage at the chiropractor's office. I had 70 to 80 percent of my clients coming in for an insurance copay. I was doing sessions that were 30 minutes in an hour. I became a insurance. really good mechanic. You came in with that, boom, I'd knock it out. I had great reviews. People would like be dumbfounded and go out to the front and rebook. There was no way in hell that chiropractor was going to let me set up a suspension system. He's like Robert. You're going. You're going to. You're, you're going too far. I don't, we don't know what this is anymore. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. That's where I feel like I, I got to an edge. The work is very effective, even when I show it to students that I've done tons of private training with. They're oddly like uncomfortable. They're not even asking to use it yet. Like they're afraid of it almost. Why? After learning and practicing. You want to get into one of those big uh, like heavy equipment things and. Dig? <laughs> because, I mean, it's a totally safe tool if you know how to use it, mm -hmm. right? right? Now, you put me in it, and I'm going to, like, oh. <laughs> that's why I wrote. <laughs> comes in though, right? Say it again? But that's what training comes in, though, right? Exactly. Yeah, but how, how do I get the students to train? Students don't want to train. Why not? Because it costs money. Oh, well. But it costs, it takes time. It would have to be mandatory, though, because you cannot. Give them something like Once they know how to set the suspension system up, there is no way to control it. It's like setting up ashi bars. Makes sense. See what I mean? It's no way to control it. Nope. It's too simple. Nope. I've thought about it. I've gone back and forth. I have a lawyer. It's too simple. There's no way to patent it. I could tweak it in some way, unless I could figure out how to tweak it and make like additional options. Uh, somehow, and I have thought about that. I just don't think I don't think there's money in it. I want to keep doing what I'm doing now. It, it's based off of a mat-based platform, which is Thai massage. I walk students through a curriculum, build them up, build them up until they get comfortable with suspension, and then we just keep growing. Over time, I'll be able to make more videos like that, so that hopefully people are coming in from out of state to train with me. I may have a facility at some point that has suspension systems set up, so I can walk students through training. That's really what I want to do, but it's almost like going to school for rolfing or something. You know what I mean? It's like most people think like, you know, I learned something in two days and it's like I can't teach you something in two days, but the, the full curriculum I'm trying to lead people through is long. Yeah. Yeah. So your main concern is the fact that you have a lot of people who are interested in the system, but they don't want to train and then you're worried that... It's flashy. It. Instagram. I want that. That's cool. And I go, people are going to die. Make sense? The compressions are so deep. Like what you're learning in school here, like how safe is the stuff that Marcy's teaching you? Well, yeah. Uh, 
safe, but it, yeah. you have to pay attention. Otherwise exactly. And, and that's why as an educator, she's here working with you to walk you through that process of learning, like how to use your elbow, how to use your forearm, how much pressure do you use. You know, we start you off in the shallow part of the pool and then walk you to the deep end once you know how to swim. That's essentially what it amounts to. I'm going to continue to have issues and challenges around that. I just navigate it as best I can. I trademark, control what I can, set up my curriculum, walk students along, and just keep growing. Business is doing fine. I continue to travel and teach. It's growing, so I just keep doing my thing. You guys have other questions? Business, time massage, marketing. Uh, you, do say, you did say that you offered those classes uh, on Austin. Mm -hmm. So do you think you'll, you'll still have those classes for a while, or you yes. think you're going to raise those prices up? No, um, I thought about raising my class prices at one point. I think for now I'm going to leave them where they are. Um, I don't have any intention of raising prices anytime soon. Um, I'd have to have like a more influx of students where I couldn't quite keep up. I think what may eventually happen is some of my teaching assistants are going to start teaching for me and take the lower level classes like intro and table tie so I can move on to higher level curriculum with students because I'll just run out of time. I'm starting to get people from other states asking me to come out and do trainings and I, I want to do that, but it just takes time to walk people along. Massage and body work is an art you learn this way. I talked about doing digital, you know, education. Can you learn online? It's not the same. Exactly. What I do is, um, I, if I can teach you 75% online, I'll teach you 75% online. I'll give you stuff you can use consistently even on a table, but in the end, I want people to get sessions. Like students will come in, they'll take a class with me and get a session and go, oh my God, this is where we're going? Holy moly. Yeah. But it's like, it's difficult because I can only do one session at a time. Make sense? Now I can film the sessions and that's nice, but you still don't get a chance to see what it feels like. Make sense? Yeah. Especially if this ends up being very successful, it seems like clients will want to go and see those who learn straight from you, not from another. And that's where you build a brand. If we get the trademark for Reboot, it's not a massage, it's a Reboot. I go to the Reboot studio. I have a Reboot certified therapist. Make sense? If I can do it. I've never seen a branded service like that in the massage industry other than Rolfing. Yeah. Rolfing is the closest that I've seen where they really built a brand. I'm looking at it. If I don't get the trademark for Reboot, I don't know what name it's going to be, but I'm really trying to pick a name like Nike. I'm really Nike. trying to build a brand where people go, dude, like you don't understand. It, the, the massage is okay. This is just the gold star, the Rolls Royce, a brand of you know massage and body work. Which one? Uh, when you train uh, others how to do it? So when I start you off with intro and table tie, the intro class is 18 hours, three days, it's $400. The table tie class is two days, 12 hours, is $300. Those five days form like the core training just to get you started. After that, the way I had it set up, there's phase one, phase two, and then I'm, those classes were 30 hours. I'm still trying to figure out how to set up the curriculum because I have to teach you how to use deeper compressions. I have to teach the abdominal work. I'm teaching elements of yoga, yoga therapy, myofascial release, trigger point stuff, like all within the curriculum. So I'm trying to get you up to date. Does it make sense? Yeah. Do you have uh, like a minimum number of candidates? That like students? Makes sense for you. Yes, makes sense for you to travel to see? Yeah, typically it's eight to 12. Uh, 12 is probably better if I'm traveling like a huge distance. When I come here to Houston, it's not as big a deal because it's just three hours away I can drive. Make sense? Like when I went to Las Vegas, we had to work that out because I'm like, okay, you know, am I nationally certified? Yes. You know, how can we do that? Make sense? Yeah. And what's your current relationship with ABM, PM? How do, you, do you see anything there that, that they could possibly help you with this since it's a large organization? 